the original rivalry, Melbourne Victory versus Adelaide United. To their anthem, we'll remind you of the team. Tony Popovich makes three changes for victory. Adama Traore is ruled out through kicking a run of six consecutive starts for Giuseppe Bobolina. Joe Gauci plays his final match as well. It's one. And why wouldn't they stand by their club at the moment? Nine unbeaten and with a chance to go top. Here's the head-to-head -head meeting all time. They played on is now at zero. And it's Melbourne Victory who get us on that cloth. It's beyond as quickly, and it was a promising situation. Nibasuki took Jason Guerrier out of the equation just around the centre circle. Plenty of time for that club to come up with something. They miss Nishan Palupale. Disguised pass for Jason Guerrier. And a very use of the body is one of his big strengths, of course, and he holds the ball up well. Here's Ryan T. Thought about shooting. Tees up for Lupale. Victory threatening. Across the face it goes. It's pinball for a moment or two before Adelaide. And it goes to Ryan Teague on the left. That'll be Joe Gauch's good take. Right back under the pump, Arzani. And Fodoroli! A little farewell presence as he heads off to the Asian Cup with the Socceroos from Bruno Fodoroli. A bullet header. And I think it's going to, well, it's been judged offside. The AR will do the rule, it's an incredible header. So that's, that's an incredible header. Let's just forget the bureaucracy. Takes a breath and fires it in towards that near post. Miranda Geria waiting at the back post, goes towards the near instead and it flashes wide off for Lupale. The victory player could get any decent contact on it with the players on field for them but in these moments victory have looked more convincing good challenge by Brimmer to win the ball back for victory down goes four to Roley free kick this one is well within range at Amy Park well the turnover forced by some really really good defending there's the trip on Arzani and that's what was adjudged a foul the less less the second one the first it's Bruno who actually steps out of the line it's Aaron Moy Brimmer. Well, by the way, that was always going well wide. Yeah, well, on the Harvey Norman replay, Jake wasn't so convinced. He does hit the ball beautifully. Oof. Well, all around. A little flick through and for Lupale. Takes it beyond towards the byline. The volley from Connor Chapman and big appeals for handball by Melbourne Victory will go on for the moment. Mashash. Fawn Rolly at the back post. Brings it down on the chest. There are a lot of defenders in the way and he has to settle for stride magnificently. And that's a deflection onto the arm, so it's not going to be handball. Even if there was any intent, which I doubt there was. Yeah. And it's plants. A good contact from Connor Chapman. Continued his run. Good football from Vic. Keep them worried. There's lots of little things going on off the ball as well. Volupale darts into the box. Machette! Deadlock broken! Zidu! The cult hero of Melbourne Victory fans at Amy Park. And finally, Tony Popovich's team. A breach. A stubborn Reds defence. Well, the handball against Zach Clark was taken quickly, and then the Harvey Norman replay just tells a beautiful tale of the Maisie run of Mission Valupolo. His second half has been very impressive. Look at him go, cutting a swathe through the Adelaide defence, and then it's the magical Moroccan from the penalty spot or thereabouts, hooking it in with his left foot, giving victory the lead. It's a stunning goal. Fantastic work, victory. And now it's for Adelaide to find an answer. But 
dink through the gap. It's clever by the Reds. And back post was Bovelina. Halloran, who was a judged offside, not Giuseppe Bovelina, who arrived nicely to meet that. The back post. Central defensive carry for Tony Popovich. Falami on the move. Out in front of Fornaroli. As Adams alongside, wants to go on himself, and he's got it. Bruno Fornaroli had one ruled out in the first half for offside. That one's going to stand. Big smile for Tony Popovich. They're going to miss him. Goal number 13 of the season. But one to remember right on the 90-minute mark before he heads off to the Asian Cup. Points in the back. Well, on the Harvey Norman replay before, we just sit in awe of Bruno Fornaroli. Admire the work of Ben Falami bursting through midfield to set El Tuna away. And this guy is just incredible. Just an incredible finish. That's so difficult, which he makes look routine. When you've got this many goals as a top striker, of course, at the top of your game, the confidence is high. And he just nails it. He nails it, like he nailed the header in the first half, ruled out for offside, but no such fortune for Adelaide on this occasion. The best in the business this season. Something to behold. Bruno Fornaroli. 30 games for Vic 